Clip Studio is one of my favorite softwares for traditional animation, and it's one that I use professionally. But if you're just jumping in for the first time, it can be extremely daunting and somewhat unmanageable. So let's get ourselves acquainted with the program so that the only thing you have to focus on is drawing. To go along with this video, I put together a free package that has hotkeys, an animation template, and some brushes, which is going to be really helpful for following along with this video. It's super important to change our hotkeys, so we're going to go to File, and then Shortcut Settings. That'll bring up a menu that's going to allow you to change the hotkeys of pretty much everything in Clip Studio. Okay, so we'll start off just by creating a new illustration file. Since my video is going to be 1920 by 1080, I'm just going to add a little bit of padding and go 2100 by 1200. Okay, now that we've got our file open, I just want you to go to Window and then go to Timeline. Down in your Timeline window, you'll see this little film strip icon with a plus sign next to it. Just click that and it's going to add a new timeline. We can just click OK here. Now that we have a timeline in place, what we want to do is create a new animation folder. You can create a new cell in that animation folder by right-clicking on the timeline and clicking New Animation Cell, or set it to a hotkey like I do. I'll make a few more cells with the same hotkey. If I want one of these to be a little bit longer, I can use Insert Frame, or I have that set to the hotkey G. Since we have multiple cells now, we've got to be able to navigate back and forth, so I use hotkeys A for go to previous cell, and D, go to next cell. So far, you can see that each cell has shown up as a layer in my layer window. Uh, but what if I want to have each cell be a folder so that I can have multiple layers per cell? Having cells as folders is going to be extremely useful when we have a rough pass, a tie down, cleanup, as well as shading. So I've created an auto action that allows me to just hit Y, and then it puts each cell in its own folder. In that free Gumroad package, I have a step-by-step -step on how to create these auto actions. If I want to create a cell between two existing ones, you'll notice that Clip Studio has a strange naming default. So one way we can fix this is by going to the Animation window, clicking Edit Track, and then renaming in layer order. Because I'm constantly using this, I set it to its own hotkey, in this case, U. So with all that set up, now we have a way to navigate easily between cells. We can create cell folders so that we can have multiple passes within each cell. And we've got a renaming hotkey so that our layer management doesn't go crazy. There's a few extra tool hotkeys that I've changed around as well. Uh, that's the increase and decrease brush size. I have those set to F and R. I find that there's always times I need to change the brush, and this is just a nice, quick, easy way to do that. I switched my Paint Bucket tool to the letter T uh, because I found that I wasn't using the Text tool all that often. And lastly, I have Playback set to Q, just so I don't have to move my hand around all that much. Okay, let's talk about one of Clip Studio's biggest weaknesses, which is its ability to render the camera tool. This normally isn't a huge issue during anime production because everything's animated without the camera movement and then it's added later on during compositing. This little animation template we've been using basically implies that the camera doesn't move, uh, but in shots where the camera is panning or zooming out, it may look something like this. If you did want to render your camera all within Clip Studio, you can do that by inserting your animation into a camera folder. Once you've got your animation folder inside the camera folder, you can then use the object tool to move around the camera. Any camera movements you want to automate can be keyframed down in the timeline window. But again, this is definitely something I'd suggest you do within your compositing software, something like Adobe After Effects. So those are pretty much the main hotkeys that I'm using on a day-to-day -day basis in Clip Studio. Remember to pick up that template package in the link below so that you can have a key map to refer to while watching this video. And if you want to support these videos that I make, you can do that directly over at patreon.com slash moderndayjames. Patrons will get to see these videos early as well as get access to the animation files that I use in these videos. And if you'd like to take some extended classes with me, you can do that at the links below. I've got classes on storyboarding, animation, and figure drawing. 
All right, everyone, take care.